do you keep making the same kind of film? Hey, what's going on, guys? So I just saw Godzilla vs Kong, and it was pretty good. Yeah, I actually really enjoyed it. This is the fourth movie in this monsterverse that they've been doing. Firstly was Godzilla in 2014, which I thought was very boring, mostly because, you know, there was barely any Godzilla action in the Godzilla movie. I mean, every time Godzilla showed up in that film, it cut away to human characters. Like, no one wants to see Godzilla fight and then cut away to something we don't care about. It's like the film was trolling us or something. Next there was Kong Skull Island, which I think was a lot better. In fact, I think it's very underrated in my opinion. However, while we did get a decent amount of Kong in the film, the human characters had little to no character. I mean, you could literally describe them simply as your token explorer expert, nerdy scientist, useless photographer lady. Is that like a personal attack or something? And angry military guy. This please! Then we got Godzilla King of the Monsters which was getting better but again we had stupid human characters weighing the film down. They are the only thing that can reverse the destruction that we started. They are the only guarantee that life will carry on but for that to happen we must set them free. What? Hold up, oh, hold up, wait a minute. That bitch. And now we come to Godzilla vs Kong. The film that these movies have been like building up to. And you know what? It was good enough. So in terms of story, all you really need to know about, you know, spoiling anything is that Godzilla is on some rampage for some reason. That takes everyone by surprise because he literally saved everyone in the last movie. Also, some scientists are trying to find this mythical land and they need Kong to lead them there. And also like sort out the Godzilla problem as well. Alright, firstly, it seems that Warner Brothers learned their lesson and they actually give us some good Titan on Titan action with little human interruption. Finally! Now don't get me wrong, it's still here, but nowhere near as bad as it was before. The action overall was entertaining. I mean, the film is called Godzilla vs Kong, so obviously when they fight, it's the best part. The special effects for this as well were really good, and I appreciated that we could actually see what's going on because, you know, before, they would always be fighting in like complete darkness so much so that you can't even see what's going on as for kong and godzilla themselves i was actually surprised how little screen time godzilla had at least compared to kong it's like this movie really focuses more on kong and Godzilla was kind of pushed to the side. I mean, like, for the first hour of the movie, I was like, dang, Godzilla fans might be getting neglected here. Oh! The way that Godzilla just pulled up on Kong like that, oh my god, that was awesome. So when it comes to the human characters, you have some returning from Godzilla King of the Monsters, and you have some which are new. I'm just gonna keep this short. None of them you actually care about, they're just padding to make the film feature length. You have Madison from King of the Monsters, who's literally just running around for most of the movie with two other guys, some friend and some conspiracy theorist podcaster, and they're just fumbling about in their own side quest for most of the movie, until like the actual end where they actually become useful, but yeah for the most part they were in the way, although I will do admit that uh, Brian Tyree Henry's character, you know as the conspiracy theorist podcaster, you know at times he was pretty funny I will admit. There's this young girl, uh, Gia I think her name is, who has this friendship between her and Kong and I did like that, uh, you know this girl being the only person that Kong trusts and that, yeah their relationship was really sweet. Everyone else though is like fam, I, I don't even remember their names, like this guy, who? Anyway if you're wondering if there's like an actual winner between Godzilla and Kong, cause you know they've been saying that there will be a definitive winner, it's kind of a yes and no situation. Yes, there is technically a winner. Yes, one does fall, but it's one of those instances where you're like, 
Mm, well, really the other guy won based on the fight itself, if you know what I mean. So yeah, to wrap up, overall it's a good time. You're coming to watch Godzilla fight Kong and that's what you get. As for the human characters, you know, they're there, you know, they do the bare minimum, but they're not too intrusive. Like I said, the whole relationship between Kong and uh, the girl, that's the heart of the movie right there. The main plot of the scientists using Kong to find this mythical island, I mean, to be honest, it's really there so that Kong can get this special weapon to fight Godzilla with. But at least Kong was actually important to the main plot. Godzilla, on the other hand, at least for the first half of the film, kind of felt like an inconvenient menace. Godzilla just pulled up on Kong like that. That being said, we all came to see Godzilla fight Kong, so you know what? It doesn't even matter. If you saw this film, let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. For me, if I had to like rank all these films just based on like personal enjoyment, um, it would be Kong Skull Island, then Godzilla vs Kong, King of the Monsters, and then Godzilla 2014. But yeah, that's it from me. Uh, if you enjoyed this review, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a good day and God bless.